You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The permanent mission of the Kingdom of Cambodia to the United Nations Office has denied the statements of three special rapporteurs regarding the National Internet Gateway, saying that the establishment of this new sub-decree is in accordance with the principles of law, necessity, and proportion. EAC News reporter Robin Lim has more. The Cambodian ambassador, Anne Sakun, described the creation of the National Internet Gateway as a mechanism that adheres to the principles of legality, necessity, and proportionality and contributes to the realization of Cambodia's vibrant digitalization, which is a driving force of growth and development in the kingdom. In a statement made by a UN panel of experts, special reporter Vitet Manterborn, Irene Kan, and Mary Lawlor, urged Cambodian authorities to suspend plans to implement the sub-decree on the Internet Gateway, stating that it was restrictive and undermined Cambodia's privacy and democratic freedoms. Cambodian ambassador and permanent representative to the UN in Geneva, An Sukun, told EAC News that the allegations made by the UN special reporter were biased and baseless accusations. He said that this new law is needed to be equally competitive with other countries and to help prevent crimes such as online gambling and illegal pornographic websites. The subdecree on the Internet Gateway prepared the Ministry of Post and Telecommunications in 2021 is scheduled to enter into force on 16th February of 2022. In a statement issued on 1st of February in Geneva, the permanent mission emphasized that the enactment of the Internet Gateway Law is not new in the world, and that its purpose is to facilitate and regulate internet connectivity, strengthen national security, tax collection, and to help maintain social order and protect national culture. The statement emphasized that it is in line with the International Covenant on the Civil and Political Rights in which certain restrictions provided by law may apply if they are necessary. The permanent mission further wrote saying, No provision in the National Internet Gateway Subdecree authorizes collection of consumers' data or individual surveillance. Any handling of connection and technical operation is secure and encrypted in accordance with international standards. To safeguard people's rights to privacy, a law on personal data protection will be crafted and consulted with wide-ranging stakeholders. The permanent mission urged the three UN reporters to divert their attention to the worrying trends of human rights challenges, namely hate speech, slander, disinformation, incitement, vaccine discrimination, and provocation to sedition under the guise of freedom of expression, rather than make accusations and interfere with internal affairs of sovereign states. Robin Lim, EAC News.